Okay, on these problems down at the bottom, what we're going to be doing is finding the equation of a circle with this information. So remember we said we switch signs to what goes in the parentheses. So the x coordinate of the center is going to go in there with the x. Same thing we were doing on the last video, just backwards. And then switch signs of the y coordinate. So that's a y minus 3. And then I have, say, 6 squared is 36. Notice it's kind of like the Pythagorean theorem. I have something squared, the x is squared. Then I have another something plus something squared, the y squared equals something else squared, the radius squared. So the x is squared plus the y squared equals the radius squared, actually a lot like the Pythagorean theorem. Now on the next one, the center is 8 and negative 5. So that's an x plus 8 because I switched the signs. Switch the signs again, y plus 5. And then 1 squared is just 1. Always remember to square the radius. Even if it's something like 1, it doesn't change. But it's good to remember that you're squaring that radius. Um, go ahead and pause the video maybe. Try the next couple on your own. And then we'll go over them very quickly. OK, on the next problem, that would be an x minus 5, switching the sign squared, plus y plus 4 squared, switch the sign again, equals square root of 5 squared is 5. Because when I have a square root, and I square it, it just cancels out the square and the square root, leaving me a 5. On the next one, I have the x plus 3 squared. You could do a y minus 0 or a y plus 0, but there's no need to do that. You can just do a y squared. So plus or minus 0, no need to even write that down. And then square root of 19 squared is 19. Okay, uh, the next one we're going to look at is this one here. Uh, if they give you a graph, it's almost the same. You just have to probably write down what the center is. So in this case, the center is at x is 3, y is 5. And then the radius you can figure out by counting. So you can count over 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's going to give you a radius of 4. Once you know the center and the radius, it's the same thing as what you just did. x minus 3 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 16 because 4 squared is 16. Okay, we'll go ahead and look at the ones at the bottom. Okay, on these, they give you a center and a point. So I think it's going to be helpful to sketch a graph. doesn't have to be exact, but negative 13, negative 16 is over a lot and down even more. So maybe about there. And then you have negative 10, negative 16, so over almost that much and then down the same amount. So this is the center and this is a point on the circle. So the actual circle would look something like that uh, going across the center. And then this line here, of course, is going to be your radius of the circle. And what I need to do since they gave me the center is I need to figure out the radius. So the radius of this circle I could figure out by saying, hey, how far apart? I could count it on the graph. Uh, and you should be able to get out that the radius is 3. And the center is this. However, if you had trouble counting it on the graph, you could always say if the y coordinate is, is the same, how far is it from negative 13 to negative 10? Since the y is the same, that's all I would have to do and just say, hey, it's 3, so the radius is 3. Uh, the graph would help you to see that, though, so I strongly encourage you to make the graph. Uh, the next thing I'm going to have is an x plus 13 squared, then a y plus 16 squared equals 3 squared is 9, and that gives you an idea of how to do that one.